In this video I'm gonna show how to scrape tons of leads, emails, company names, based on location. Basically I'm gonna use Apollo Yo, which is basically LinkedIn lead scraper but just in another program. But as Apollo Yo is quite pricey, especially with monthly billing, then I'm gonna scrape this Apollo Yo with another program which is Appify. As you can see here, Appify is cheaper. And if I show right now my last runs, for example, here for 1000 leads, I paid $1.30. For 2000 leads, I paid $2.40. And I think this is pretty reasonable price. So first, what you need is going to Apollo.io. Here you have to register a free account. And on the left side of the menu, you have to go and press on people. And here is the scraper itself. For example, I'm going to search for digital marketing. And as you can see, it straight away gave me 500,000 leads. Now, I can't watch all of those leads because if you go far away than five pages, then you're going to get error. Which says you're on a free plan. That's why I'm going to use Appify where you can scrape all of those pages with very good price. But first what I want to do is to filter this a bit more because 500,000 leads is a lot. So one of the simplest ways to filter is by location. For example, if I write here Europe and press enter, then you can see it dropped to 100,000 leads. For example, if I want to be even more specific, let's say Germany, then you can see lead count drop to 8,000. And now if I filter it even more, for example, employees, which I recommend always doing, is to have smaller companies because they're easier to reach out. Let's say up to 20 people. And now you can see I only have 1,800 leads. Here you have industry keywords and here you can filter even more. For example, marketing manager. Now it outputs only three. It's a bit too few. Let's try something like Facebook. And then it's outputting me only a bit over 100 leads. So actually I'm going to expand my location. And this is one of the things you're going to have to do, which is play around with all those fil filterings till you find enough people to write to or to find the specific niche you're searching for. So let me try one more time to write here Europe. Okay, digital marketing specialized on Facebook in Europe and I have 3000 leads. Here you can also filter by email status, for example, on the verified ones. But I usually take also send with caution because they're still working. And now I got only 1700 leads and so on and so on. I think this one is actually enough for me. So next thing what you have to do is copy this URL that is up here. And go to Appify program and especially in this Apollo scraper, scrape up to 50k leads. I think this is one of the most reasonable ones with price and also you pay while you go. So yes, you have to pay for subscription, which is $39. As you can see, free Appify plan can only get 100 leads per run. If you are only starting, I recommend to try a couple of times with this free one. And if you need more, then go to paid plan, which is $39 per month. As you can see over here, I paid $39 in advanced and then it is taken off on how much I use. So if I paste now this link that I just copied over here, here I can choose how many leads I'm going to need. Let's say I need 1000 leads. You can name it and then click save and start. Now it's going to take some time because it's going to, as you can see, scrape page by page. You can run multiple runs at once. For that, what you're going to have to do is just find new batch of people and then feed them to AI. As you can see here in my runs, this one is running right now. And while it's running, you can see live how much results you already have, how much usage it has taken and how much time it's going to take. But after run is complete, what you can do is go to a scrape leads. And here in the right upper corner, you can press export. Here in export, what I usually take is Excel. And here you can either export every information you're going to get or only things you are interested in. So here is the full list. You can get employment history, organization, photo URL, title, headline, and so on and so on. As I'm using only to send cold emails or for AI to generate icebreaker, for that I'm usually using organization name, letting AI to search internet and find some icebreaker for those clients. Then you can download this and this how downloaded results looks. What I usually do is highlight this title. So whenever I sort everything, 
it is still staying in the up. And one interesting thing you can find here is personal emails. So for example, let me have a look how much we have over here. A lot of personal emails. What I usually do is delete all the other rows and put those personal emails that I just got to instead of working emails because in personal emails, people are more interested to open them. So now I can delete this column and now I can sort only the emails. And why I do that is very simple because not all the leads are going to have emails. As you can see, a lot of them don't have. You can use AI to search for those emails, or if you don't want to waste AI credit or not use AI at all, then you can use only 350 leads. So to be fair, this was very poor batch because probably I didn't do here this email filtering that I did in this demo one. But this is how you can search for clients and leads. And the, in the next upcoming video, I'm going to show how to automate Gmail and send those emails. Of course, you can use cold email programs. There are a lot of those. One of the most popular is Instantly, but they're usually pretty pricey. And in the next video, I'm going to show more how to send automated emails and maybe write some icebreakers with make.com automations. But for now, have a great day.